guys, also Thomas here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Curse Forge since they just released the Sims beta mod thing. So I went in pretty much a day after it came out and downloaded a bunch of mods, figure things out. Um, I'm also going to be showing you some of the stuff in game so you can see like some of the creators and kind of figure out what you like if you haven't really gotten to experience mods before. But first a review for those of you who are like experienced with mods. And even for those of you who aren't, but if that's the only thing you're here for, you only have to watch the start of the video then. But so far it's okay. I mean you can tell it's in beta. There's a lot of stuff they can improve. The only categories they have are like popular new releases on the main screen pretty broad and you can go even deeper just go to build by create a sim mods pets rooms save files but if you just go into popular it's all of those combined so it's a little bit difficult to find specific things it's also nice in the sims resource they have like shoes hair clothes it's like divided even further this doesn't have that you have to look at the entirety of Cass and that's that's not necessarily bad, but if you're looking for something specific, it's going to be difficult to find it. So eventually it would be nice if they did add that. And it's also just popular new releases. Again, it's not, they don't have like featured or new creators or anything like that. Again, like the some resources does. You can sort by creator in there, which I really like if you're trying to find new creators. This is kind of just, you have to look through everything, kind of figure out what you want. And it's all just kind of thrown at you, which isn't what I prefer, personally. But it is really nice that as soon as you download it, it ends up in your mods folder. Like, you don't have to go into your downloads, take it, move it to your mods folder. Worry about, like, making sure the folders aren't too deep and stuff like that. It does it automatically for you, which is really nice. But I'm not quite sure it does it right, because every time I open the game, I get an exception. It says that the mods are wrong. So I'm not super sure if that has to do with like how Curse is like automatically putting them in or if it's the mods not updated or something because I've had exceptions for like three or four mods. Also it would be nice if once you go into my mods you could actually sort it. I've again had an issue here too where it just keeps loading and it won't tell me like what needs updating, what's going on with my mods, it just keeps saying it's refreshing. So I don't know what needs an update but I feel like it's going to be good at some point, but right now it just doesn't live up to my expectations from Sims Resource, which again, this is in beta, so it still has a lot of room to improve and everything. There's also the issue, and this isn't really Curse's fault at all, this is more like who's putting it on here, is that there is very little alpha CC. It's mostly Max's match, which I personally like alpha more. I've not been able to find any alpha hairs. I'm sure if I did like a deep dive, I could find some. But those are, those are more like my criticisms and my plus sides. I think it needs a lot more work, but it has the potential to be really good. If you're a beginner, this might be nice for you because it automatically puts it in. But again, I'm not super sure how accurate putting it in is because I have gotten a ton of exceptions and I'm not sure if it's Curse's fault or it's just not updated. But now I'll show you some of like the creators. So first the build by creators I will show. Yeah, see exception, this is what I'm talking about. And then first off this is Saibo. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but she has a lot of really nice stuff. I will say something that I like about her personally is that she has a wide variety of stuff. Like you can see she has kitchen stuff, she has bathroom stuff, bedroom stuff. Stuff that's a little bit more fancy. She's got stuff for a cafe, stuff for a school. She kind of just has a whole bunch of stuff. So you have a lot of variety when you get all of her things. Or their things. You get all of their things. And laundry stuff, you can just, you can do a lot with it. And then if we go up a floor, spiral staircases, they are not functional, but they look beautiful. And if you're just really into building, this is still nice. And this is also a bathtub. I absolutely love this, but something needs to be underneath it. Like you need a basement. And you have stuff for like an outside boho wedding or like a little kid's pool. And this is Sixum. One thing I will say about 
them is a lot of their stuff is kind of repetitive and don't get me wrong I love it because all their stuff is super nice but you can see there's a lot of chairs there's a lot of beds there's a lot of tables it's like you see the same stuff over and over again and they they kind of stick to that specific I guess furniture set and just make it in different ways which again isn't bad we need tons of beds tons of chairs tons of tables it's just not as much of a variety you'd probably need other creators to kind of I guess flesh it out a little bit if you want to make an entire house. I feel like it'd be a little bit hard to make an entire house with just these, but they have a ton of stuff and a lot of options. Like there's so many counters, bathroom stuff. It's a little more Maxis match compared to the last one. You can tell it's a little bit more simpler. It's, this is Philexandria. If anything on the slot looks a lot of place, it's probably because it, I put all the stuff that they did with Hey Harry and House of Herrix together because they ha the three of them have done like collaborations on packs, so I just put all of it on this one lot. So if anything looks a little out of place, it's probably because it was from the collaboration because the collaboration items look a little more Max's match. One thing I personally like really love about them is they do a lot of stuff that's a little more out there. Like if you want an older build or a castle, there's also like a lot of doors, they have more like Japanese style doors, really pretty. And again, like more older stuff. I will also say, beautiful Tori Gate, but I will also say, I don't know if this is, again, like a curse thing, a weird like Sims thing, but the walls will kind of like glitch in and out. And I didn't have this issue on my other two lots, but I have a lot on this lot and the next one I'm going to show you. And I'm not sure what's going on specifically in these two lots that make them glitch out so bad. But as you can see, there's a ton of plants. And I mean, we all need more plants. Pretty beds. Like you can see all of this looks, not all of it, but most of it looks super nice. And it wouldn't be stuff you'd use in a normal build. Which I really like, again, I probably wouldn't use this stuff all that much, but if I'm doing a fancy build or an older build, this is like stuff you need. Some beautiful lights, some chandeliers, this really pretty bed canopy. And again, like roof fixtures for like, if you want to make a cathedral or, I don't even know, like an old mansion or something. If you want to do all this decorating, Honestly, I don't know what I would use all of these for because I'm not that great at building, but I'm sure you can make some amazing things with these if you know how to use them. So they are one of my like absolute favorite creators just because they do stuff that's so different. I will say they have a lot of stuff that's kind of repetitive. It's like different variations. So like you have these doors and they're all very similar, but they're slightly different. So it's very customizable. And they also have them in different sizes as well. Then you have like these pretty round ones too. And here, actually, let's put the walls up for a second so you can actually see the wallpaper. They have some nice like brick and wood, a little bit of tile. Let's put it down so it stops glitching. And yeah, lots of tables. It's kind of similar to Six and where they have like specific things that they redo a ton, but they're nice things. And it's a little bit more alpha compared to Six and stuff. But these are nice. It's like little greenhouse ones if you want a greenhouse. I love these roof tiles. I mean, any variation of roof tiles is nice. Now we have the Hey Harry one, and this is another one where it's like all these doors come in like small, medium, and large for the most part. So you get a lot of variety. You can use these doors for pretty much any size house. Then lots of archways, which is super nice because we need more of those. And then some nice open, automatically like open doors. A lot of sectionals, which is nice. You can kind of make your own sectional. A ton of tables and a lot of tables in different sizes. Like you can tell some of these tables are the exact same, just bigger, larger. And there's even more that I didn't put out here. There's taller ones, shorter ones, like if you want a bar or just like a normal table. Most of these are like really nice. It reminds me kind of like of the Ikea set. I don't remember who did that, but it reminds me of that because it's like really basic, like neutral colored stuff for the most part, which I mean, you can use these in any build, which is amazing, but once in a while they're th they'll throw in something like this, which I don't think I'll personally ever use, but it's nice to have a little bit of something strange and different. Lots of nice bookshelves that you can stack and arrange however you want. 
a lot of like really basic but nice beds but again like i have no idea who made this but these are really nice if you want like more soft and more like maxis kind of sims this is nice if you want like a little bit more detail you can see like the grainy stuff on the neck the eyes have more bits and then these are like very detailed by Miko. Then you have Obscura stuff, which is even more detailed, but it's really nicely done and I actually really like it. And Twisted Cat is more, again, like just kind of smoothing out the features, a little more Maxis match. They're incredibly well done, but they're incredibly accurate as well, to the point where it makes me a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> just because they're so well done but if you like incredibly realistic looking sims this is an amazing overlay for you this creator does so many nice here's zerk and her stuff is nice again this is all gonna be like maxis okay, here's britney really nice hairs but they're all again maxis match but they're all very very pretty she has very nice hair for specifically black sims because obviously it's harder to find hair for them if you've ever tried to look. But Raven has some really nice ones. And their stuff is more alpha. And it's very, very pretty. I don't know who this is by, but I absolutely adore that. This is this is Miko. Her, I don't know why it's green there. But her clothes are also very, very nice. It's green there too. Huh. I wonder if that's just a glitch with her clothes, or if it's something else that she's wearing that's making it glitch out. And a lot of scented shoes, which are amazing. I absolutely adore them. A lot of high heels, though. Like, all high heels. <laughs> so if you want some more sneaker options, um... I guess you're kind of stuck. <laughs> Unless you, like, go searching for them specifically, but, like... The ones that are easy to find are only high heels, sadly. But they're nice, I guess. Just make a sim who is jogging in high heels. But that is my sim review and, or well, Chris Forge sim mod hub review and the CC shopping spree. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just like a little video showing off. And I hope it was useful to you. And if you're a new simmer looking for some mods, I hope you found some nice creators you like. But this is Quaz with Katana signing off.